What's going on, guys? Welcome to a competitive draft Guilds of Ravnica League here on Arena. 1,500 Jemmy Gems. Oh, no, we're not going to do a competitive because we don't have it in us right now. We have to do... Oh, it's Dominaria. So we're doing a Dominaria draft. I lied to you. We're doing a Dominaria draft for 5,000 uh, Goldy Golds. And we're going to try to... Well, it's been a while since we've done Dominaria. That's weird. This feels weird to do. I'm not used to any of these cards anymore. This has been a while. Wild Onslaught is pretty good. Have you tried playing an infinite combo in Arena? No, I have not. That sounds pretty nightmarish. Uh, I don't remember Grand War Warlord being that great. Onslaught was good. Eviscerate is one of the best removal spells. Ah, uh, Divination is a thing. Vicious Offering is also very good. I guess we could take Eviscerate here. I think it's... I don't know if it's better than Wild Onslaught, but it is good. It is one of the best removal spells in the format. Here's a Baird. Um... Skittering Surveyor, also one of the more solid choices in the format. I'm going to take the Surveyor. I don't want to commit to white here just for a Baird. Also, a second Wild Onslaught is pretty interesting. I wonder if one of those will come back since there are two of them, and I don't know what the computer does when it comes to stuff like that. Uh, Memorial to Glory is fine. Divination's fine. Glider is just fine. I don't love any of these cards really. They're not. This pack is not great. It's probably just Glider. Like we don't actually have a time limit either, so it's interesting making picks like this. I also don't hate Soul Salvage if you can get like a bunch of a couple bomb rares. Memorial to Glory is good. We just don't have a reason to go outside of black right now. None of these cards are really pulling me into any sort of other colors right now. I think I'm fine with Glider just because it triggers historic spells, which is fine. Call the Cavalry is a card I was very, very fond of in this format. Um, <clears throat> Soul Salvage I do remember being good as well. Like they're Just getting two of your creatures back is very, very strong, especially if they're like kicked creatures that you can make larger. Oh, there's a Soul Salvage. Nothing else in this pack is really great. Dark Bargain is fine, but I'd, <clears throat> I'd rather just have the Soul Salvage, to be quite honest. Maybe. Eh, I'll take Dark Bargain. A lot of 4-drops, though. I'm pretty heavy on the 4-drops right now. I want to take the Invoke. Invoke was a card I really liked having in my decks. It was very main deckable in this format as well. Stronghold Confessor. It's basically just another four drop. Rat Colony was just a pretty unplayable. Cabal Evangel, also pretty unplayable. Hmm. I'll just take the Confessor. I don't love it, but it is what it is. Also, it doesn't look like I either Wild Confluence can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no. Wild, wild Onslaught, not Wild Confluence, and uh, it's still it's still possible. We'll take a Voltaic Servant in case we hit a Traxos at some point. No. Um, I'm not a big Sarah Disciple fan. Just never big enough. Um, take the Candle. Yeah, okay. So, neither of the Wild Onslaughts came back. So, the bots are clearly in green. Yikes. Hmm. <coughs> Take Pierce the Sky in case we are able to splash it somehow. Alright, so not thrilled with this first pack. But I don't think it's terrible either. This pack is not great at all. Spore Swarm is really nice. Our only white cards are Invoke and Call the Cavalry, so I'm not really committed to, to white, but we did take a Pierce the Sky, which is pretty good. Yeah, I think I like Spore Swarm better than... Uh, I like it better than Shepard, and I think it's... We could just take another Call the Cavalry, right? Like, and then we get to play the original Call the Cavalry. I think that's fine. Oh, and we get past a Josu Vest and a Sarah. That's pretty good. Holy smokes. This is a pick we need to really, uh... I have no idea what to take here. Hmm... Uh, 
Well, I don't have the overlay, so I can't just do it. And then take the opposite. <laughs> nice. Uh, I think it's actually Sarah. I think Sarah's probably going to win more games than Josu Vess. Oh, a history of Benalia. That's pretty gas. Well, we're definitely taking that. That's pretty nice, because in real life, you're never going to get a pick three history of Benalia. So that's pretty cool. Also, Torgar. I don't know if Torgar is any good. I do like a Pegasus Courser. <laughs> oh, boy. I like going Sarah Angel into History of Benalia. This deck seems pretty sweet already. Yeah, History is also great for, for the collection. I agree with you. Um, I think it's probably Pegasus Courser. Oh, another Baird. And another Call the Cavalry. I think I just want the... Nah, we want the... We probably want the Baird. How many four drops do we have right now? One, two, three, four... Yeah, we can go with one Baird. I'd like to get another Mesa Unicorn at some point, but... Mm, really, a Historic card actually isn't terrible for our deck. What, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven so far in our deck. That's a good amount. Let's just take another Invoke. I... I don't mind having invokes in the sideboard, but I didn't know there was going to be another one right here. Play Guardian. Is this from Graveyard or... It's in permanent. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, Dauntless Bodyguard is fine. None of these cards are really do anything. Wow. Mo oh, well, I guess we're taking invokes. Mono invoke dot deck. All right. Oh, well, that's a late trapper. I am grateful for that. That is nice. Eh, Cabal Paladin's fine. It, it can deal some damage. Oh, well, board of the Weatherlight came back. Danatha on Sarah's Wings and a Woodland Cemetery. Woodland Cemetery does help us splash the Pierce the Sky. Uh, Sarah's Wings. On Sarah's Wings is pretty gassed, though, on anything. Uh, you can't get back. Well, I mean, like, you'd have to time it really well. Like, you'd have to play this on turn four, get a guy, turn five, get a guy, and then play the five drop on turn five. I like Wings a lot. I think it's very, very strong. Yeah, I think Wings is good. I mean, it's a lot of four drops in our deck. But... Like, this just putting it on any big guy and then floating on over is pretty strong. Uh, I'm going to take the other Trapper. We have a lot of historic cards here. I saw Triumph of Gerard and I got real excited that it was another History of Benalia. That would have been pretty insane. I didn't like Triumph of Gerard at that much in the actual format. I kind of like Sargent just to have another 6 drop. We don't have many high top end. Actually, Jousting Lance is probably pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lance here. It's another historic card, and uh, we don't actually have many ways to punch through. It's probably Banalish Honor Guard. I don't think we have any two drops here at all. We have two two drops. Yeah, I'm going to get two drop here. Demonic Vigor is the only card we would consider playing. I don't see us playing it, though. None of these cards are very good. I'll take a Fungal Infection. Yeah, I'll put it in the main deck. What the hell? Nah, I'll take another Honor Guard. Sure. Another Honor Guard? Okay. Probably not playing three honor guards, but. No, Sergeant came back. Alright, that's nice. So now we have several cuts to make. Okay. Just take out this the black. I don't really feel like that's good. Um, actually, maybe it is. One, two. Three, four, five. We'd have to add two cards. 
Do we have two cards to add? Uh, Guardians is great. <coughs> <coughs> and then maybe we just add a Excavation Elephant. We can return an artifact from our graveyard to our hand, which is pretty nice. We have a Surveyor, a Glider, a Partic Wanderer. We don't have much removal. Like, we got rid of the Eviscerate. Ex excavate... I think you mean Eviscerate. Eviscerate is actually double black, which makes it pretty hard. I mean, I don't want to splash for Eviscerate off of one dude. It is worth it, though. I mean, it's a good card. Tell <laughs> one swamp. Yeah, that's good. That's solid. I don't know how to get the lands here. Is this lands? I don't understand. There we go. Yeah, 13-4 is probably where we want to be. Eviscerate single black? Oh, I thought... What am I thinking of? What am I thinking of two... Double black. That's pretty good. Alright, yeah, now we can go. Yeah, then we two swamps is totally fine, because now it's three black sources for one back. Wow, I didn't know that. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, we have a ton of four drops. I don't know if we really need Dark Bargain. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little slow, but we have, uh, we're on the play and we have History of Benalia, so. History of Benalia. This guy's, this guy's not a knight. Look at the way he's dressed. This guy's totally a knight. Come on. Artificer's assistant. Alright, well. One drop stot deck over here. Yeah, fashion related to the party jousting lance. History of Banalia. Oh, that's awesome. That was good. I'm a fan of that. Also, they're using the good knight tokens, which is nice. I don't think we desperately need a land off the top. We have literally three plays before we hit a land, or before we need a land. Like, we can play Glider, we can play Jousting Lance, we can play Invoke. Sure. That is not what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. But, I mean, I accept that we not, might not be able to do that. That would have been great if we were able to go call the cavalry attack for a million. That probably would have won us the game, I imagine. <laughs> wow, just mono shiv and fires dot deck over here. Shiv and fire, shiv and fire opt. Seems good. I mean, we still traded History Banana for two Shivan Fires, which is pretty good. I don't think we attack here. We can just get Jousting Lance on this guy at one point, and it's just probably better. I will, however, play Baird.
All right. So we can go Lance Honor Guard. Get him. Oh, now it looks like the tables have turned. Yeah, it's not really great to if they just block block with those guys. I'm not really not really good with that. I'd rather start getting four damage in a turn. Maybe we can play Call the Cavalry next turn or if we draw land Partic Wander. So I have seven mana. Gitu Lava Runner with seven mana is probably not ideal. That's not where you want to be. First strike damage, regular damage, and then we'll just play Call the Cavalry. Alright. Feels like we're in good shape. Two four. That's two four, good buddy. So combat, all attack, four attackers. Hey, it said don't get blown away. Can you vote for me, the cool guy in chat? <laughs> oh man. You know maybe. One down. One down. Uh, we'll keep this hand. I don't think it's great. For real though, glad catching live. I was trying to chime in on YouTube. That's okay. That's okay though. <clears throat> the YouTube chiming in is appreciated. <clears throat> I keep putting my hand on like the F6 button just because I'm like, oh, I want to skip. Uh, it's best of one because it's not competitive. So the competitive drafts are best of three. So don't you don't you worry about that. No blocks. Oh, of course. How nice. Steel Leaf Champion. 
I need a swamp and an eviscerate. What do you think about the best of one? Um, I think it is what it is in in the in the casual drafts. I think it's fine. Like it's a different format, right? So like you're not, you know it. You know you're not playing. To uh, it's it's good for what it's it's good for what it's for. Uh, based on my experience in Dominaria drafts, main deck invoke was not sketchy at all. You'd always main deck it because this format's mono historic spells. <clears throat> there's there's infinite equipment historic spells and sagas in the format, and you would always main deck it. I think we're just blocking here, right? Just assume they don't have anything. They probably do. Yeah, Mandy Convoke and Dominary was pretty standard. Sucks, but what are you going to do? I'd rather get the Steel Leaf Champion off the board. Okay, that's pretty alright. So now we can play... This... Probably the guy that's actually a guy. The guy that's actually a guy. It seems good. Do you think the best one for me is these for practicing draft? Um, maybe? It's good for building decks, the deck building portion. No, oh, this guy's big. Bunch of soldiers. Alright, well. The problem is we want to give this guy flight. In order to not have it die to this. But the only way to do that. Is to attack with this guy as well. And then they can just chump it. And this is not big enough to. Put on you. I think we just keep invoke up, I guess. I don't know. I guess this is fine. I can't foresee. Like if we put this on here and then we attack, they just block with Carissa Vu's and then it it dies. The jousting lance anyway. So that was actually a pretty good play. If it didn't fly, it'd be great, because then we can attack with both of these guys for five, which is a pretty quick clock. Next turn, however, we can pump both of these guys, which is nice. Just make a card, the dual face card on the front. It's a leveling creature where its highest level lets you flip it on the back. It's a Kamigawa flip creature. <laughs> oh, dear God. I would die. So would everyone else. You would cause mass hysteria. I'm going to open another pack. Because this is how we do. Bird Illusion. Guildgate. Oh, it's a Dream Eater. That's a good one. That's a Mythic. And then we got Necrotic Wound, Justice Strike, and Inspiring Unicron. Uh, Resolve. I've got so but Alright, so these are... These one threes in your hand were not as impressive as I expected them to be. After that Steel Leaf Champion, I thought they were in... I thought their deck was significantly better than ours, but... Now I'm... Now I'm not so sure. Oh, you're a knight. Where were you last turn? You would have been great. We could have actually played you last turn. Oh, God. So sad. Oh, I didn't want to equip this because now they just block it. Oh, they're not blocking it. Oh, this is good. Oh, please don't. Oh my god, they didn't figure it out. Uh, yeah, we're definitely getting rid of the who's here. Oh, wow. That's so good. I could not be more grateful for that. 
Oh my god, we got lucky. That was not supposed to happen like that, guys. I'm got soul, but I'm not a soldier. We did get, we did get lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky. All right, grow from the ashes. This is where they get a mountain and a swamp. Oh, just two islands, okay. Seems fine. All right, that's pretty good. Oh, first strike damage. Wow. Just going to six here. Regular damage. Um, I want to kick this. How do I do that? I really don't want to. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Kicker. Disdainful stroke. That's not going to work, right? I'm just crushing this event. This is unbelievable, guys. Oh, that's a good one. Yep, that's a problem. So we're going to have five guys. One, two, five. We'll have two that get through. Resolve. Okay, this is actually pretty nice because we can put it on the Pegasus Courser. And then we can go to combat. Attack with these two. If they block here, we sack and give the Pegasus Courser indestructible. This doesn't have trample. So, that's okay. If they want to block here, they're going to take four and go to two. And then they have to block here next turn. Captain Database. Jesus. Jesus. Seems good. Regular damage. All right, so that's actually pretty good. That actually worked out pretty well in our favor. So I'm okay with it. And this guy has vigilance, so we can still still block. Resolve. Well, that is pretty good. <laughs> That's a, a fine top deck. One, two, three, four, four. They're going to have seven. They're going to have eight guys now. Yeah, that's pretty bad. 
Not a single target for Invoke, unfortunately. Oh, uh, we definitely did not miss Lethal. They had two less guys. So they had one, two, three, four. <clears throat> they made these three. One, two, three, four. Um, And they also had the Drake. So the Drake blocked here. They could have blocked one, two, three, four. They would have taken three at the most and probably just let the two through. So no, we would have dealt like two damage extra there. Come on, something good. Eviscerate. We don't have a black. Oh, well, I guess we got the black, so that's good. Hmm. How do we win now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have eight guys. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have eight to eight. Like, if we attack with both, they just block here. <laughs> and then they take one in the air. Unless you guys are seeing something I'm missing. I don't think I, I don't think you are, though. I mean, they have quite a ways to go before they're, uh... Before they can actually attack us profitably at 13. But... We also... Have to draw something good. That's pretty good. Yeah, Eviscerate is great. It kills this guy, and then we can get in there for five, and that should win us the game, theoretically. But what do I know? Uh, Alright, attack. In combat. Alright, my turn. Eviscerate right, right now. Resolve. Oh, I see. Yeah, well. No attackers, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I just want to play like a Pardic Giant or something that I can invoke. Top card is going to be a Skittering Surveyor, that's my guess. Let's find out. Oh god. It just gets worse. Trapper is good, but Come on. <sighs> Felt really good about this and up until the point where they played Verdant Force, the rare, followed by Zahid Dijin, the rare, followed by 4-4 Academy Drake. Is there a way I can always yield to this? I really don't want to... I'm not going to have a response to you making a 1-1, one, one, but... Excuse me. Uh, yep, sure. Are they going to deck themselves? Is that possible? 16 cards versus our 21 cards? Oh, they go on the bottom, so I guess not. 
Okay. <laughs> sure. Now they can play a land and then kick Grunt. Oh, Grunt costs nine, so they actually don't even have to play a land to do that. That's good. Just a uh, casual 10 10. We have outs. I'm just losing. I'm losing faith here. Yep. Invoke, you have been pretty bad this game. Attack? Hmm. Okay, in combat. Nine lands. Seems good. Well, glad the uh, problems we have on Magic Online have translated well to the Magic Arena interface. That's nice to know. Pretty sure we're dead here if they alpha. That's my assumption. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine guys. They have seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 14, 15, 16 guys. So. <coughs> Excuse me. And exactly. This is aggressive. This is a wild onslaught turn. That would be my guess. This is really, it's confusing to see what's blocking what. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to parse this in like a, an efficient way. I don't even know what I'm like this is this just takes so long. Yeah, I get yellow hours are blocked orange. I get I understand. It's just hard to parse visually. Like five. What do we take? Five seven. This guy's unblocked. I actually don't know what to block this guy with. Sure, you, I guess. Is everyone blocking? Uh not the four two. So we block another one one, I guess. I don't even know, like I'm running out of timeouts here. One, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, we're basically just dead, right? This has to block here. I guess. Sure. I don't know if this saves us or not. I think it does. Yeah. Sure. Why even do the creatures first? Just have the cards that kill me do it first, and then I can die. There you go. Well played. <laughs> can I give myself indestructible bodyguard? Because that seems like something I need to do. Yeah, we'll keep this. We got a surveyor, eviscerate. It seems good. That's a good point. Could have killed the servant and gained four. Yeah, I like that actually. 
I didn't even consider that. I totally forgot the interaction between these two. Or between this and your own artifacts and, and enchantments because it's been a while. I wonder if that would have actually won us the game on the crackback. Huh. That might have cost us the game, actually. Yeah. I, uh, wow. Really? Just to make it 3-3? Three, three? I'll take one. Oh, that was a nice draw. Uh, take action. I will take action. No attacks. Yep, that is unfortunate. We probably could have won that game. Magic's hard. No balls. Yeah, the, the pressure was definitely real. Like, I was like, oh, God. I gotta hurry up here. And, it, yeah, it didn't feel... It didn't feel right. You know, tax. Yeah, I'll have to review the video to see if we could have won on the crackback, because I don't know how many of our guys were actually surviving, and we knew they had one blocker at least. Uh, block. Block. This is fine. I mean, if you want to kill either of these guys, it's whatever. Sure. Past the turn. Yeah, it was also me feeling incredibly rushed there. No offense. To, I mean, like, I'm not gonna... Like, I'm not trying to make excuses there, but it was just a matter of, like, oh, I feel the pressure of the... Uh, it's all attack. I'm just going to use this now because they have nothing else and they're kind of stuck on mana, so. Like, because you're watching, like, the timer go down and you're like, it's, it literally feels like you're waiting for a bomb to, to go off. So, not ideal. Especially for, like, convoluted board states like that. Not saying I'm on your left. That's, oh, man. Yeah, you better not say that. How dare you. Um, gonna mulligan this one lander. I'm mm, gonna keep this three lander. Uh, you can go on the bottom. I'm pretty sure we'll find a land before turn four. We get a first turn, second turn, third turn, fourth turn draw. Wow, invoke every game. I guess we also drew history two of three games. So. Right, exactly. Like, that's what I was thinking. I was like, how come it's not as pressured in Hearthstone? And the reason is because, like... Also, you can choose who you attack in Hearthstone, so I don't have to, like, line things up in Hearthstone. I just actually... Just... You know, I just push my guys into their guys, one at a time. Like, if it's how we did Pro Star, I won a couple FNMs back in Shards of Alara block. I think we're... Yeah, I think we're dead even.
They haven't played anything yet, which is kind of interesting. So they play Spore Swarm? Yep. Always a Spore Swarm. Uh, yeah, I'll choose that order. How do you earn a time? I actually don't know how you earn a timeout. Do they reset for each game, or do you have like a certain number per draft? Or I don't even know how it works to be quite. Well, that guy's hard to deal with. Yep. Dear God. We could triple block. They can only take out one thing if they don't have any card whatsoever that... Oh boy. Well, they did not attack. That's good. Come on, Eviscerate. Followed by second Eviscerate. I know the number of timeouts I have is here. I'm asking how, like, I earn them. Yep. Yikes. Jazzmonger, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. So here we go, right? We kind of have to block because we can't take 14 here because that's absurd. I don't actually know how we deal with two seven sixes. Every third turn without rope. That's interesting. That's actually pretty good. That's a that's a decent amount. Yeah, of course you have. Yeah. Fight one with the other one. Sure. It's pretty backbreaking. It's cool. It's only a four for one, or three for three for one, where I take seven damage. Totally reasonable. Yep. And this game is over, too, based on two primordial worms killing us. Okie dokie. I don't remember Dominaria being this ridiculous. But I guess it's, I guess if it was two out of three, then it'd probably be a different story, right? So, what can you do? I'm not feeling hopeful about hitting those. What do we have, 850 gems? So we need, like, 650? Which means I'm going to take a gander. It's 1,500 we're trying to get to. So we have to actually get five wins. Okay, so we need three more wins. And one loss. We have one loss to do it. I don't know, man. Yeah, this is actually fine. Two drop, three drop, three drop. I mean, it's two drop, two drop, but I mean, obviously, we're not going to put both on two, so. No less than a god. Have a good night, buddy. Take it easy. Oh, another one, huh? A glider. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this guy because I don't want to. I just want to be able to block here. Mono death bloom talents. Those guys are good. Did we see these and just pass them? I don't remember seeing many Deathloom Talons, but I could be wrong. So next time we can play two guys, but for some reason I don't feel like we're ahead in this match either. This is very sad.
choose blockers, huh? Nah, I'll take three. Oh, well, that's cute. Maybe not now, but someday. It's four power in the air. It's not bad. It's not bad. Kill shot? I think kill shot can like that. Oh, an old dark bartle. Put a dub in the graveyard. I'm not even a big dub fan. I don't even like dubs. Avon Sentry, eh? Oh, that's good. That's a thing. So we can play Lance and then uh, equip it on this guy, and then we can give it on Sarah's Wings. That's pretty good, but it's only a 2-2 two -two is my big problem. What does the swirl mean? These both have swirls, but I don't know what it means. The yield symbol means can't block. I don't know what the swirl means. It doesn't mean summoning sickness because I'm attacking with two swirl guys. Additional text? I, that's what I was thinking. But this guy has additional text and it doesn't have a swirl on it. Oh, I guess this is kind of like a... No, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense. <coughs> well, I didn't do anything. Fascinating. I have to assume they have something, right? They have six cards. I don't want to throw out on Sarah's wings unless they tap out and I know we can get a thing in. Blessed light. Sure. Still floats. Swirl is not under the battlefield effects because neither of these guys have under the battlefield effects. Keep trying, guys. Keep trying. <laughs> right. Neither of them have summoning sickness and neither of them have VTB effects. Status things. Okay, so now we're just now we're just making things up. Uh put it on you. And we'll end the turn. I'll untap my guy who cannot block. There are five. That's pretty good. This guy doesn't have an effect, though. Here's the thing. Like, can't block is covered by this, right? So whatever this is, is not can't block because you've already covered can't block. It's not flying because this guy has flying. This guy doesn't have flying, and he has the same swirl here. Um, I'm just going to put this on you. I mean, this is fine. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know we actually had enough mana to do both, which is pretty exciting. Okay. It might be a passive effect, but it didn't have a passive effect. Like, it had it before the Jousting Lance was on there. It has... Both of these had them. Maybe it's... Pa I don't know. Yep, now they're tapped out. Alright. So... We don't have any flyers, though. <laughs> it's pretty... Oh, I guess... Oh, yeah, they just dead now. Because... Because reasons. Whoop! Got him. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. I think that's how you do it. What did I get? I just clicked on the card and it disappeared. I just want to know what I got and it didn't even tell me. That's sad. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this. Honor Guard into history. Seems good. What up, Kringleberg? It's okay, buddy. The two lost bracket is where the best of the losers... Sh That's what I'm hoping, buddy. That's what I'm hoping. We got our fingers crossed. It's getting too dark, I gotta shut the window, hold on. Okay, we did it. Alright, is it my turn again? Dang. <coughs> no blocks. That was a that was a good draw. Legendary creature, okay, combat. Is it for each? Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, just some history here. Oh, seems good. Seems good. We're doing it. We're living the dream. The dream is alive. So are we. Another night. Oh boy. Oh boy. Combat all attack. Two attackers. Pop, 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 pop. I'm just going to play another night because I have a history of Benalia, so let's not be silly. This is 16 damage worth of gentleman on the board next turn, so. Okay. Return all tapped creatures to their owner's hand. All right, that's pretty rough. Because we have knights. N -n 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 knights. So they got a six here? That's pretty good. Well, let's play a glider, a, bl a floaty boy. Actually, let's probably pick asses. You're gonna tap this 2 2. So your time of ice has kind of negated our history. Except for the fact that, like,. Yikes. 
And bounce my Pegasus. It's gotta be the Pegasus, right? Oh man, I was hoping for an invoke there. So, so bad. So bad. I don't feel like we attack here, because then both these guys get bounced. I mean, I'd rather just have you bounce these two and be done with it. Are there Costco's in Florida? Yeah, there's Costco's. We dealt an infinite amount of damage with history, so I'm okay with it, but... but there's still on a two-turn clock with 1-3 and 2-2 two, two here. Oh man, where were you when I needed you? I don't think there's a card in the format that can actually affect this. Uh, end? I was like, why is it saying end yet? They haven't dealt damage. I don't want to hit end. This is some desperation here. I have to sacrifice. I need an answer. That's okay. You can you can you can dig. You can dig if you wanna. You can dig this thing do. Let's go do do deep freeze on that guy. It's up to you. So you go to one. Okay. They have one card in hand. If we draw a land, we can just jousting lance on the glider. We drew a land. Kapow! Crushing it! Why did the owl sound like a monkey? Because you don't know how monkeys sound? Tch, duh. There's a deal on Activia? What is Activia? Is that the yogurt? Are you t are you trying to sell yogurt on my? Are you trying to are you shilling for Costco yogurt here? All right, one more win, and then we can get the the equivalent of a way to draft competitively. I can't. I actually don't know how monkeys sound either. I have no idea. Who can say? I will keep this hand. It's got a Surveyor for a black. We have a turn two drop. We have a Sergeant if we really need it. We have a Trapper now. That's a better three drop. However, we might just Skittering Surveyor to hit our land drops. Pow. Man, no play, huh? Okay. Well, we have enough land drops, so I'm definitely playing Trapper here. Especially because Surveyor will also tap whatever they play and let us get in for some damage. Oh, wow. They have four mana and they just took five? That's crazy. Oh, that's no good. Yogurt helps the poo happen. It's a poop joke. Oh, because of the because of my duders. I gotcha. I feel like this game is pretty locked up here, and I don't actually understand how, but I could be wrong. This could be a powerful double blue spell that they would have been it was not. Alright, I'm intrigued. Okay. Oh, if they're just going to be like, you know what? That's all I got. You befuddled me. I'm good to go. <clears throat> all right. Well, we're doing it. We're living the dream, guys. The dream is still alive. All right. I click it. Oh, a lingering phantom. I don't think they know what the word reward means. That's my impression. They have never experienced a, re a reward. So then they think like, they think the cards that you can pick up at your game store floor, you can hand those to someone and be like, hey, here's a reward for you. 
No, I'll never be using that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't appreciate it, actually. Yeah, this hand's great. Got three drop, three drop. Uh, I don't like horses. We have double archer, so we might want to just save the surveyor until we actually need a. Need a trigger. Hmm. Fascinating. This is just a this is just a poor man's history, Benai, right? I like that she's an archer that can't actually deal with flying creatures. That's rewarding to me. Yikes. Uh, I don't want to play that. I'm going to play this guy and grab a Swamp Arena. Let's take action. That's such a funny term. Would you like to take action? Hard to fire a bow while holding a baby? Solid point. I had not considered that. Party Jace is in the house tonight. Oh, a Shalai. Well, that's nice because we just drew this. We didn't draw this, but we, we, we activated this, let's say. I'm hoping for no... I don't know what kind of counterspell they could have a negate main deck. They didn't have it. So I, I think they're 100% having a block here. Nope. No blocks. Oh, pierce the sky. Post-combat pierce the sky. That's fascinating. Excuse me while I pierce the sky. But Alish Honor Guard's great because it becomes a legendary creature. So it gets the plus one plus zero oh, and it gets two more from this. So it becomes a four, two, four, three. Which is pretty sweet. So I'm just going to play this now because I think uh, the clock is relevant. And it gives you, like, one turn to deal with this guy, which is... I mean, it's very possible, but I'm going to cross my fingers that you don't have it in your green-blue deck. Cross my fingers and I lost. All right, that ain't it. But you might just play that first to get the mana here, because you have... That's not it either, but you may... Uh, seven and three. This guy doesn't have first strike, right? Flying Vigilance lifelink. Uh, no blocks, I'll take 10. Scoop! Woo! Crushing it. Are we gonna, are, do we, we can we do this? One more win. And we get two packs instead of one pack. Yikes. Yikes. <coughs> Activia. <laughs> Solid. Solid recommendation. And a 100 more gems. A one, a 100 more gems. Is there... Is there a chance of the one... Uh, 
Re retype that. Try that again. Uh, we're definitely keeping this because it gives us one drop into. Yeah, this is fine. If we can hit history banali, it's gonna be gas. Oh, it's not just passing through the turn because I have a thing to do with this guy. That's interesting. Don't bully my typing skills. I would never do that. So now we're just going Trapper into Baird and hopefully drawing a land. Wow, another Marwyn matchup. Marwyn after the Elfheim Druid is interesting. Alright, well that's good. That's good for us. I have my doubts you're going to block with the Marwyn. So now we have Baird tap down their biggest guy that they're going to play this turn. One, two, three. So one, two, three. They have four mana for a kick spell. There's no kick spell that they can actually play for four mana, I don't think. I remember when you were for TCG Pillar Bragman Day. Me too, because it was like an eight-year span. Ah. Keep, keep, keep. Uh, I don't feel good about attacking. I don't like that the summoning sick guys are actually blacked out because it makes you feel weird about blocking. I really don't feel like this is a good trade for us. I don't care about getting this guy off the board, really. Oh, you're under time for going three consecutive turns without having a timer come up. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So they're like rewarding you for uh, for reasonably reasonably paced play. That's good. I'm a fan. Also, if you guys haven't done so, feel free to support the channel by subscribing or following. Click on those links. Both of those help me out. I never actually say that during the stream anymore, but it is super helpful. And I stream at least five days a week. So, what what do you what are you waiting for? And I'm gonna open this pack right now. So, okay, you put a, put a swamp in your hand. You already had swamp access with Lanwar Envoy, and now you guys can have your ASMR crinkles. This guy, this guy. What did I miss? My dad. Rare. Oh, a Temple Garden. Temple Gardenia. Not bad. Not bad. Uncommons. We got some uh, Swarm Guild Mage and Necrotic Wound and a. Contra crush contraband. <coughs> oh, druidic valve for four. One, two, three, four. How much does it cost? So six mana. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sure. It's legendary. Any number of land and/or legendary permanents. Okay. So you just hit three lands. All right. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. I'm not going to be using it right now, but it's pretty good. Party me Yikes. <laughs> yikes. That's a yikes for me, dog. I 
think they're just coming. They just gotta go. F oh, they can actually. Yeah, they can afford attacking here. They just gotta pay with Marwin or Elfheim Druid. We're definitely eviscerating this guy. Um, I mean, it gives us three turns. They're at ten. It's not a, no blocks. Take damage. Yeah, resolve it. I got the pass turn button clicked. Come on, buddy. Alright. Yep, that's fine. Look at this Derrigaz over here with two eggs. Alright. So four, five. We'll have six mana with this guy, so that's not enough. We're one shy of being able to do all the things. They have one, two, three, four, five guys. We have four. We'll have six. Carry the one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This guy doesn't really do much for me, so I'm not super concerned. I'd rather get guys off the board, so. <clears throat> yep, that is fine. Oh my god, that is not what I wanted to do. I went to end combat. Oh, that's going to be... That's a huge misplay. Holy crap. Wow, that was bad. That's why I, I wish it says end turn because it goes straight from attack to end com to to the end of combat. Oh, it's so bad. Seems good. Yep, pretty sure we're just dead to a Daragaz here now. Now I was going to click end again to end combat. Uh, we can't Surveyor into call because we had to play a land that turn. Yep. So bad. Oh my god. You remember what you would say whenever you played Thrag Tusk? Mm, I don't actually. <laughs> that ironically keeps us alive here, which is pretty funny. Uh, tap down. 3 3, I guess. One, two, three, four. And they have four guys. Uh, I actually like keeping Baird back here. They're just going to go block, block, or block. Yeah, this is actually fine, though. Oh, I guess we could have waited till the blocks, so now they know they can attack with everything, I think. Good game. Oh, wow. Must be nice. So close to the win. Huh. Alright. Well. Wild Onslaught? Did they just top-deck Wild Onslaught for the last, last card? Oh. What? We're not dead, though. 
And we're not doing great, but we're definitely not dead. Unless they did, unless they just have plus four, plus four. Unless that was their top deck. <laughs> of course they do. Why wouldn't you? Fantastic. Seems good. Anyway, we got our six wins. Whatever. It's only a pack and like... I don't know how many... I don't know what, I don't know what the difference is, actually. Uh, 950. It's only 150 gems in a pack. Either way, we've got what we wanted. Let's open our Dominaria pack. As a reward for our efforts. Sylvan Awakening. Very valuable constructed card that I cannot dust to get a different card. And... Oh... Chef's Kiss, the Assassin's Trophy. Pretty nice. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Anyway, I'm not going to end the stream. I'm just ending the video on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think of Arena. I will probably be streaming some Arena every so often. And I will be uploading the videos. And uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. And... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, you can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Link is in the description below, my affiliate link. I get a kickback. You get 15% off, and you get free shipping and free returns. And they are super soft. And they are lounge pants, tees, socks, and underwear. So pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Definitely check those out if you guys are in the market for that kind of a thing. Um, they are extremely comfortable. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.